the Attorney General entered Noli Prosecai, which means don't prosecute. Then the Attorney General took my client away from the court. The next thing I heard the next day was that my client had been flown out of Ghana, back to China or wherever, but out of Ghana. I didn't understand why the Attorney General did not allow us to finish the case. I think it was a wrong move, but they took her out of Ghana. Today we are being told in the court that she sneaked out of Ghana, which is false, a blatant untruth, an inaccurate statement, which was made to the court. Very sad, most unfortunate. Yes, I am told, I was not at the bar conference, but I'm told that the Attorney General says the cooperation of the judiciary is required to keep these people in custody. If it is true that my learned friend, the Attorney General, made such a statement, then it is most unfortunate, most unfortunate. And uh, in the light of that, the decision to refuse bail gives credence to what is being said which is unfortunate, most unfortunate. My worry is that the media has overhyped this small matter of mining without license and doing mineral sales without license. It's a small matter, it happens every day in Ghana. So I don't see why the media should even write an editorial on this matter. And it is that which is creating a problem. And giving all manner of uh, all manner of insecurity to the issue. I don't know how she entered Ghana, but I don't want to say that I want to indict Ghana Immigration Service because any foreigner who comes to Ghana passes through our borders, and each of our borders are manned 24 hours by immigration officers. So immigration cannot tell me that they don't know how she entered Ghana. As far as I'm concerned, there is no legal impediment that bars Asha Wan from coming to Ghana because she's a human being like you and I, and she's entitled to freedom of movement. And if only uh, she has a visa, she can enter this country anytime. What me, I'm a lawyer engaged to defend my client. I was defending her. We were going to court regularly. She was on bail, but she never missed a court date. And we were defending her. She was supposed to open her defense. And then on that day, Attorney General entered Nolly Prosecutor. I don't know why they entered Nolly Prosecutor, but they did it. And then the following day, she was flown out of Ghana, not because of an executive instrument saying that she's a persona non grata, not because the Parliament of Ghana had passed the law denying her the right to be in this country. But you believe well, personally, uh, I think it was a wrong move because it would have been better if the Attorney General had allowed the process to go on and then judgment entered so that either she's convicted or acquitted and discharged. Mm -hmm.